Well, Carrie, the Republican primary is not till next August, but already the rhetoric is getting hot between John McCain and J.D. Hayworth, while a possible Democratic challenger waits patiently in the wings. Challenger J.D. Hayworth accepts an endorsement and a $5,000 check from the Phoenix Law Enforcement Association, representing 2,500 Phoenix police officers. We need to get back to basics, and that's what the plea board, uh, the direction that the plea board is going in, endorsing uh, J.D. Hayworth. We're getting back to basics. This comes on the heels of an endorsement of McCain by the Arizona Fraternal Order of Police last weekend. Today, Hayworth assailed McCain's backing of big bank bailouts. McCain says the economy needed to be saved, but he has long complained about the way the program was managed. Hayworth not buying it. To suddenly now hear this revision of history is again surprising and troubling. Today, a tart response from the McCain team, quote, Contrary to what Mr. Hayworth and his PR flax claim, Senator McCain has long questioned the management of TARP. Sorry, Mr. Hayworth, but facts are stubborn things. Meanwhile, Tucson Vice Mayor, Democrat Rodney Glassman, prepares to get in the race. While the Hayworth-McCain cage match continues, Glassman sees an opportunity. They're busy in a race to the right to determine who's most conservative. I don't think Arizonans are concerned about who's most conservative. They're concerned about who's going to go to Washington, D.C. and work for all of us. A little clarification today from J.D. Hayworth on the so-called birther issue. During his radio days, Hayworth covered the birther topic on his talk show. Of course, birthers are people who do not believe Barack Obama was born in Hawaii, the United States, but was born in Africa instead, so he doesn't have a valid U.S. birth certificate and shouldn't be president. But today, Hayworth said as far as he is concerned, the issue is settled, and Barack Obama is legally entitled to be president of the United States. Reporting live, Steve Kraft. Fox 10 News.